on a Friday afternoon. I think she's set to make us jealous, Chris. Yeah, always does. Live at the tasting room at the Wild Roots Spirits in Northeast Portland. Cassidy talking cocktails today. Yes, we are on Southeast Grand and Burnside on the corner at the new Wild Roots Tasting Room. They just opened a little while ago and they have so much more space. They did have a tasting room before this, but now they're serving more drinks, have extra space to hang out in. And we have Allie, one of the owners of Wild Roots. So you guys were standing right here behind your whole lineup of spirits. Now you guys have 10 and they kind of range all different flavors, right? Yep, we've got uh, one plain vodka, one plain gin, and then nine, um, eight fruit infused vodkas. So 10 total, yeah. I like that you can actually tell what the fruit is and that there's so much fruit in there because it's still the color of the fruit. Yeah. And it's all made in Oregon, right? Yep, we're, um, it's made in Sisters and we use right around two pounds of real fruit per bottle. So that's that color that you're seeing, the taste, um, the smell, it's all natural. Two pounds of fruit? Yes, yeah, right around. So um, it's healthy. You're like having a fruit salad. <laughs> yes, very, very, very true to the fruit. Definitely, Excellent. yeah. Okay, so here, of course, people can do spirit flights if you want to taste the vodkas or gin on its own. And then you have these beautiful cocktail flights. What comes with this? Right, yeah, so your choice of five spirits or five cocktails. The um, cocktail flight is great for sharing if you guys want to try multiple things with friends. Um, so either are a great option. Now, and you even do, if you want to come here with your kids, you guys are open 12 to 6 every day, yep. seven days a week. And if you want to bring your kids, obviously they cannot taste any of these things. You don't want them to, but there are a couple of things that they can taste, right? Yeah, so all of our mixers, um, we don't pre-batch like any of our kegged cocktails or our slushies. So if you come in as a DD or as a child, you can still enjoy our slushies. Yeah, you do have slushies, which I've been referring to as boozy slushies, but they're not <laughs> boozy until... You turn them into a cocktail. So can we make one of them? Right, yes, definitely. Let's. So um, this one right now is the um, cranberry lime. And Gosh, it's so beautiful. We recommend it with our pear. Okay. Yeah. So people can kind of choose if they said, oh, I want the cranberry lime and I want to do it with the cranberry, get extra cranberry. Absolutely, yeah, plain. You can have it however you would like, but um, yeah, we do recommend with the, um, with the pear. How did you guys come up with the idea to have a slushy machine? Because it doesn't seem like that's very common. It doesn't seem very common, but who doesn't want a boozy slushy, right? Right, yeah. All the time, And what round. And what kid all year <laughs> round just doesn't want just a regular slushy with a compostable straw? Oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah. So if people want to come taste cocktails, taste all the spirits, of course you guys are open 12 to 6, every day of the week but then if they want to come after hours they could even host a little party or something yes definitely we'd love to have private events um before or after our normal hours so yeah now are there any of these that are the best seller people's favorites so far at this Ooh. new spot marion berry is an oregon favorite always yeah oh my gosh. so oregon so delicious guys Back to you. It is time. It's getting sunny outside. I think it's definitely time for a slushie. Mm -hmm. All right. I admit I have time. a bottle of the Marion Berry yeah. in my liquor cabinet. Yeah. And it makes me smile every time because it's yeah. a pretty bottle. And then I drink it. Obviously. <laughs> a little fireball chaser.